gear up. This liberal strategist says it's hurting the middle class too. It's death by a thousand increases for the middle class in British Columbia. I understand the situation that everybody's in right now, but the middle class can't continue to pay for all the wish lists uh, of every crown corporation in British Columbia. Uh, I got a question for Elise. And I got, okay. Elise, you said, Elise, you said last night uh, on Vancouver CBC that uh, the crowd corporations had some kind of wish list and you were going to rip it up. I wonder what's on it. Thanks, Frank, for taking my call. Okay. Okay, I guess that's me first. I guess so. <laughs> well, I didn't say that uh, that I would rip up the wish list. Um, I said that there was a, you know, I was I was talking about ICBC's proposed uh, rate hike. I was referring to BC Hydro, BC Ferries. I was talking about this philosophy that Crown Corporations seem to be having, and uh, I don't think it's a partisan issue anymore. I think it's just a middle class issue, and, and to expand on where the premier is going, it's not a family issue. It's the middle class. You know, it's it's the middle class absolutely everywhere. And um, in BC, we have a hard enough time uh, living in a province that's so expensive. I mean, our our groceries are expensive. Our cost of living, of course, is expensive. Our our rates are just expensive. And what I'm concerned about is is ICBC. Now, I, I, instead of coming to the taxpayers, what they should have done is looked internal. They are not stopping the bonus uh, structure. They're not doing any sort of streamlining of hiring, meaning getting rid of the sort of dead weight along the way. They're not saying no to, to consultants. They're not doing any of that. And I find it um, absolutely arrogant of ICBC to come forward at this time and ask taxpayers for more money. I don't know if ICBC isn't looking up and, and sort of seeing how the world is for British Columbians and families here, but it's absolutely arrogant, and they need to live with what they've got. Um, I, I wouldn't even, I'm not even supportive of a review with the exception that a review would allow British Columbians to see what the what the um, insurance corporation of BC actually gets up to. The other issue I have around ICBC is I don't understand the advertising policy. On the basic insurance in British Columbia, there are no other co uh, competitors in the process here. They have a monopoly. So advertising, and as nice as those Vicky Gabbro, you know, information ads are by ICBC, did we really need to pay for it? So this is this is an issue that just, you know, drove me over the edge yesterday. It, I lost my appetite for lunch when the announcement came out. I think many British Columbians did. Yeah, it may be 30 bucks, but it, this, and, and to ICBC, this may not sound like a lot of money, but but it is a lot of money. And I started to also think about our trucking community who has been heavily hit by a lot of bad policies and a lot of bad ideas and a lot of bad situations with the global economy. We've got to support our trucking industry and we've got to support communities outside of the downtown Vancouver district. Um, this is a province that runs north to south and we need to keep that in mind. Go, go, go.